In this video, we will solve the warning message when launching the Faceit anti-cheat client. The TPM is enabled and ready. Its version is 2.0. In the System Information app, you will see that Secure Boot is enabled and the BIOS mode is UEFI. To fix this, let's restart your computer and enter the BIOS. For example, I am using a Gigabyte motherboard. Find the option for CPU FTPM and enable it if it is not already. In the BIOS, you can see the TPM information. Alternatively, if enabling FTPM doesn't work or it's already enabled, you can try a second method. First, open the TPM management console and check the manufacturer's version. If you see this version, you need to update it to the newest one. To update the TPM version, you need to update the BIOS on your motherboard. Updating the BIOS is a high-risk action, so please do it carefully. First, check the BIOS version and release date. Note down your computer or motherboard model. For example, this is a Gigabyte model. The next step is very important. Check if BitLocker is enabled. If BitLocker is enabled, you must suspend BitLocker protection before upgrading the BIOS. If you don't do this, after updating the BIOS, you will encounter the BitLocker recovery screen and will need to enter your recovery key to access Windows. Now, go to the manufacturer's website and search for your model. Click on the support link. Expand the BIOS section. As you can see, there is a new BIOS version available for update. Let's download and extract the update file. It's recommended to update the BIOS using a USB device from the BIOS setup rather than from Windows directly. The USB drive needs to be formatted as FAT32. So, let's back up any data on it and format the USB drive. Once done, copy the BIOS update file to the USB device and restart your computer to enter BIOS setup. Depending on your motherboard, you can access the BIOS flash utility with a different key. In my case, I need to press F8 to access the BIOS flash mode. The FAT32 USB will be detected automatically. You just need to select the update file. You can compare the version and release date. Finally, click to start the BIOS update process. Once done, the computer will restart automatically. You will see this message and need to press Y to continue. Because BitLocker protection was suspended, you can continue without any data loss. As you can see, 
the TPM manufacturer version has been updated to the newest version. And we can now play games without any problems or warnings. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next videos.